to say I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner as always is Stuart Robson and with the atmosphere really building up nicely we should be in for a terrific contest it's Italy versus the Netherlands thanks Derek well both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly pinning the opposition back 
playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. Wijnaldum. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Leonardo Bonucci plays with Giorgio Chiellini in central defence. Lorenzo Insigne starts with Federico Chiesa on the flanks. And the main goal-scoring threat today should come from Ciro Immobile. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. But it's generally a real pleasure to watch Tiro Immobile in action as he goes about his business. Stuarts, what are you looking forward to seeing from him today? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Fluency of movement. Depay. Oh, that's a really good run. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Federico Chiesa. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Ciro Immobile. Oh, he's given it away. Wout Weghorst. Jorginho Wijnaldum. Moving into the advanced position. And whipped into the box. And he needed a bit more downward direction on the header. Struggling to keep the ball. Difficult to stop him. The five. He'll take this on. And a fine stop. Wasteful again in possession. Depay. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Now let's see what they can do here. A foul, but advantage played. Teammate available. Magnificent challenge to win it back. So nearly at half-time, and the home side trailing, albeit not by much. Stuart, your thoughts up to this point? Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. If they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker, I think they'll get back into this. Wijnaldum. It's with Daron. Weghorst. And Depay on the ball. Well, he took care of it defensively. And a strong tackle. Ciro Immobile. Jorginho. A chance then for the respective managers. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Barella on to Jorginho Barella has it Verratti they do pass the ball with authority he's taken on his opponent here and a foul in the opinion of the referee now what can they do from this free kick situation Well, fair to say, not one for the archives. Yeah, the less said about that, the better. That's a poor effort. De Ligt. 
Martin de Roon. Not a lot to like about Wout Weghorst and what he contributed in the first half. What did you make of his performance? Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half. Immobile. Well, that is how to play advantage. Dumfries. Crisp tackling. And the pass could do damage. But the flag goes up offside. Well, he just needs to play that a bit sooner. The pass was definitely on. And taking it away. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Body in the way. It is to be a throw in. Crossing possibilities. Well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Losing possession here. Wijnaldum. It might be. And it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. So 2-0 now. Leonardo Spinazzola moving into the advanced position. Insigne. So back underway, intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Fine sequence of passes. The pie. Wijnaldum. Very really good reading of the game to win possession back. Will it happen for them? Surely! Oh, splendid save! And it gives them some hope here. Not long left, though. Well, having been awarded the corner, and still a chance. He's got it! Oh, denied him brilliantly. Well, that would have wrapped it up, wouldn't it? What a brilliant save that is. Over it comes. Well, the goalkeeper got there in the end. Well, his recovery is brilliant here. So athletic. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stuart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. There to take it away. An awful lot of green space to run into. Must be! And hit with real authority off the bar. Goal kick it'll be. Chiro Immobile. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. It's a good looking ball in behind. Well, now in a dangerous position. Couldn't grab hold of it. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time, and it's a victory for the visitors. Well done. Oh, that.
open eye Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the sky on Spain. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Giorgio Chiellini starts alongside Leonardo Bonucci in central defence. Federico Chiesa starts with Lorenzo Insigne in the wide positions. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Perfect technique, but no reward, sadly, for him. Yeah, he's hit it really well, but I think he knew it was always going past the post. He's unlucky, though. Locatelli. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. It's a perfect challenge. What can they do from here? Well, visionary passing. That's all they can conjure for now. Chiesa. Locatelli. Ferrati. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. An unforced error, you've got to say. And that is how to beat your opponent. Exquisite pass by Koke. Well, putting it wide from there, disappointing. Barella. Ciro Immobile. Well timed tackle. Moreno. Pedri. Now Busquets. The attack continues. They're making considerable. And there it is! The breakthrough! That will do nicely. And back underway. 1 0 it is. And that pass could be troublesome. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Koke. And an astute piece of defending. Really getting stuck in defensively. Well, that's a super ball over the top. And getting across to stop it. Now sending it in. Making sure nothing untoward happened. And he read it well. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? And the keeper nowhere to be found, not that he's complaining. So, 2-0 now. Well, no surprise there. Spain have had most of the possession. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here. And it makes oh, Stuart, they've got to score! 
And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Can they convert? And it goes! A three-goal cushion! And you truly sense it's a matter of how many! Blistering first-half display. And just look at that score. It's a weighted pass. Locatelli. Verazzi now. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Moreno. Can they take advantage? Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Moreno. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And he saw the situation developing. Very quick thinking there. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Oh no! Couldn't beat the goalkeeper. Moreno. Okay. Delivered into the area here. Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. And a touch of finesse. And a goal here from Lorenzo Insigne. Goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Opportunity for Reino. Keeper getting the touch. And a time for cool heads. Verratti. What well, a shame, really, because the move was promising, but no end product from them. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Pedri. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Really a very poor ball. Good-looking ball. There could be a chance now. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Immobile. the pass he had in mind and with that the attack fizzles out but a pass that lacks quality oh skipping away well, defending always has to be a team effort good piece of covering Moreno can he finish this? And that's the way to keep the ball out of the net. Well, he doesn't get enough on it, does he? That's too easy for the goalkeeper, I think. A quarter of an hour remaining here. And struggling to get the shot off. A really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Denied by the bar. Back in play here. And pushed away to safety. Well, I still can't believe that didn't go in. So unlucky not to score there. Cracking effort, you have to say. Well, plenty of room in the wide area. And a chance to whip it in here. Ciro Immobile. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Immobile. A mischievous effort. Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. 
So the current scoreline, 4-2. Kiro Immobile. Verratti. Opportunity it is. So disappointing for them. This is slithering away. Well, the clock's ticking faster than they would like. I think that had to go in, Derek. So, and that is that. The referee blows his whistle. When you want to get off that darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too
Netherlands and they take on Spain. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Jasper Sillesen is the goalkeeper. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Stefan de Vrij in central defence. Frenkie de Jong plays alongside Jorginho Wijnaldum in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. He's got the right idea with that pass. And a squandered opportunity there. Here's the lineup for Spain. Koke starts with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And the main striker for this match is Gerard Moreno. De Jong. And winning it back. No, high quality defending and unable to keep the ball Pedri couldn't keep it they've lost it Koke Can they nudge in front? And fine goalkeeping. Well, they're going for the short one. Pedri. Textbook defending inside the box. Outdoing his opponent. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. De Jong. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Danny Olmo. Llorente, the cut back. Depay. And in the perfect position to read it. Sloppy in possession. And possession lost, intercepted. Moreno. Oh, a nice looking pass. Well, well, well. How many players would have the confidence to try that? Simply magnificent. Oh, great piece of individual skill. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Koke. It looks promising. Can he take the chance? Well, it had a chance, but off the crossbar. And a goal kick. Martin Deron and Depay on the ball. No space for them here. Depay. Can he finish? Oh, a good diving save. Well, these fans have had to be patient. Could this be the equaliser? And a fine stop. And there it is. Two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. An incisive pass. He's in position. And he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. So 2-0 now.
And scope for them to produce something exciting. Weghorst. And he read it well defensively. Oh, lovely bit of skill. It's a weighted pass. Well, the danger is still there. Will it be? And a good save. Well, it is a good save. The idea was good. The execution wasn't. Wijnaldum. And given away. Koke. Gerard Moreno. Moreno. Great opportunity. And it goes. A three goal cushion. And you truly sense it's a matter of how many. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3 0 now. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Gerard Moreno. Pedri. He's got the right idea with that pass. That is a long way off target, Stuart. Well, he looked in control, but in the end, the shot was wayward. That's a poor finish. Jorginho Wijnaldum. A chance to whip it in. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Into the final 20 minutes. A possession lost, intercepted. Very quick thinking there. Won it back. Moreno. Opportunity. Moreno. Another goal. The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Pedri. He made it look simple, really. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Can they keep it going? Depay. A wonderful counter-attacking football. Just unfortunate that they didn't score. Well, had he scored, that would have been a great goal. The speed in which they changed from defence to attack was brilliant. Gerard Moreno. Might be able to get in behind the defence. In position. Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Koke. Vital interception. The danger was very real. Depay. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Real chance. And never in any doubt from the keeper. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the...
aqui. Just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Italy versus the Netherlands. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully, we're not disappointed. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Leonardo Bonucci plays with Giorgio Chiellini in central defence. Federico Chiesa starts with Lorenzo Insigne in the wide positions. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And the textbook interception. The pressure was high and they could be in here. And the flag is up offside well that's just a lack of awareness he was clearly in an offside position here's the starting 11 for the netherlands jasper Sillerson is the goalkeeper virgil van dijk plays alongside stefan de Vrij in central defense Jorginho wijnaldum starts alongside frankie de jong in the center of midfield and so many different ways to configure an attack and just offside but by a whisker my goodness well, we all know what a tremendously talented player Lorenzo Insigne is. What can we expect to see from him today, Stuart? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Can they create something from here? Can he put them in front? Oh, a tremendous block. Federico Chiesa. Locatelli with it. 
Spinazzola. Domenico Berardi. And it's played into the centre. But it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper. And can they exploit the space out wide? And there's the feed into the box. Well, desperately close to going in that time. Locatelli. Verassi. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Really good diving stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. Delivering it. Wonderful header. Excellent goalkeeping. Well, pressure building. Another corner. The clearance wasn't decisive. Great challenge. He got nothing but ball. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. But they dealt with the threat posed. Domenico Berardi. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Locatelli. Spinazzola. Verratti. Can he get them in front? And a goal! for it and now they've been rewarded 1-0 then and he's taken it away Quincy Promes and the attacking options appear plentiful Ronaldo. Veghorst, determined block. Given away by Verratti. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Memphis Depay! And he clears it out of harm's way. And so it is. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Domenico Berardi. Now with Spinazzola. And that was a move of great promise. They could easily have been in. Oh, great attacking play. Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. So 2-0 now. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved the goal. Spinazzola. Locatelli with it. Domenico Berardi and he's won the ball now well, we're into the final half hour chance to cross Bonucci, Locatelli with it, not to be advised giving the ball away there, counter-attacking very much an option, Verratti,
the pie. Promes, chance, Quincy Promes. Oh, that is a superb save. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Well, Italy have certainly tried to control the flow of the game, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Not high quality defending. And into the last 15 minutes of action. On the offensive. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Lorenzo Insigne. Real chance. There's the goal. Surely now that is that. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. An important interception. Well, he's lost it. Domenico Berardi. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. He has time to play it over. Sided contest, 4-0. And we will have just one additional minute. And that will be all for this game anyway. And defeat for the visitors. Much
Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to... ...be a superb watch. It's Italy, and they take on Spain. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles... Real chance! And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? of options big chance to get them on terms he's foiled them on his own Federico Chiesa Spinazzola pretty simple for the keeper and a no-nonsense clearance Unable to keep the ball that time. Chiesa. Now Verratti. It's got to be! And he's certainly in the mood for his second. Well, he's certainly looking a threat. He looks so sharp today. Played over. And it still could be dangerous. Oh, skipping away. Won it back. A fine reading of the situation. Wasteful again in possession. Federico Chiesa. From the goalkeeper's point of view, so disappointing. Well, a second goal for them here. Well, not covering himself in glory defensively. Verratti. And that puts them in position. Well, we like to call things as we see them, Stuart, and I must say, he's got that one horribly wrong. Well, it's a poor decision in the end. It's way off target. Plenty of running room in the wide position. A really top-notch piece of defending. Well, those stats don't surprise me. Italy have certainly had more of the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas, and I expect more of the same as the game goes on. It did look on for them, but not to be. Locatelli. Well, it would have been a chance, but the run was mistimed. Offside. Koke. And that is how to beat your opponent. And that pass could be troublesome. Well, I must say, it did look so promising, but the flag is raised. Offside the verdict, Stuart. Well, he's just too eager there. It's the right run, but he's made it too early. Well, he's given us away. Sergio Busquets. Now, what can they do from here? Well, the pass in behind the defence. Quick thinking from the keeper. And with that, the first half draws. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. He read the situation defensively and did his job. 
Locatelli. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Verratti. On to Spinazzola. Locatelli. Well read to ease the pressure. Well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Not a great pass. Bonucci. Chiellini. Federico Chiesa. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Good work to regain possession. This might be ideal for the counter. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Federico Chiesa. And providing width. How about the cross? Insigne! Oh, what the goal! Right out of the top drawer! Who could do better than that? This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Well, it was a promising avenue of attack, but the momentum has been halted. You wouldn't be surprised to see they can't hand it out. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Well, the free kick fired too close to the goalkeeper. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Committed challenge. Domenico Berardi. Locatelli with it. A chance maybe from the wide position. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing there for all to see. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Locatelli. Tremendous defensive acumen from Laporte. Just 15 minutes remaining. Insigne. Locatelli. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Bodies forward and the break looks on. All in all, a broken counter-attack. Locatelli. So almost at full time and the home side very much in command. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? Moreno. Pedri. Oh, he looks threatening. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Giorgio Chiellini, the ball winner. Sergio Busquets. In just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And there goes the final whistle. And the...
Excitement here in Amsterdam at the Johan Cruyff Arena. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's the Netherlands, and they take on Spain. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Moreno, credit to them for winning back possession. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Jasper Sillesen is the goalkeeper. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Stefan de Vrij in central defence. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Here's the lineup for Spain. Jordi Alba plays with Gaia in the fullback positions. Koke starts with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And the striker of choice today is Gerard Moreno. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Koke, not a good pass. Oh, lovely ball. Well, deemed to be offside by the merest of margins. Well, it's very close to being the perfectly timed run, but whether it's an inch or a yard, he's still offside. Moreno, Koke! What a save! And Koke with the delivery. Oh, just the kind of save every goalkeeper would expect to make. Effective challenge. There's a slide rule pass. Busquets. Oh, great defending. And attempting the through ball. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. And giving it away. Torres. Well, not great defending. 
and crossed in the direction of the back post. Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. He's going forward well here. And let's give credit to the defending. Disappointing pass. Koke. Moreno. High quality defending. Sergio Busquets. And here's Gerard Moreno. Couldn't keep it. This looks promising. Veghorst. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. That is that for the first. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Jorginho Wijnaldum. Dumfries now with Wechhorst is it going to end up being productive for them Wechhorst this could be the equaliser an alert intervention Depay promising position this well, closed down straight away you certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Oh, Stuart, they must score! A goal! Real excitement! A back-and-forth type of game. Now they're level. Back underway. Level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Played in there by Koke. But he dealt with that ball played in rather well. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. Pedri. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Short corner it is. He might yet finish. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kick the outcome. Good effort here! And he got to it fairly easily. Not the pass he had in mind. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Lovely ball over the top. And the keeper throws himself at the ball. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Determined block. Committed challenge. We're getting the ball forward. Veghorst. Can he put it away? And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. And there's the delivery. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. And take it away. Depay. Really getting stuck in defensively. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. 
Well, it petered out. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. Well, he has players waiting at the back post. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium. But can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly think so. Just listen to them. And an attempt best forgotten, I think. And good pressure high up the pitch. Wijnaldum waiting. Well, I think he's going to be a bit cross with himself. Well, that should have been the winner, but he's got it all wrong. And that's an easy save for the keeper. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Nicely timed tackle. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Oh, a nice looking pass. Oh, it almost did the trick for them. Great defending. And there's the referee's whistle, still all... Moreno.
And a warm welcome from one of the newer venues here in the football mad capital of England. We're at the London Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's West Ham United versus Manchester United. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Martial in the middle. And the cross comes to nothing. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. The experienced Lukas Fabianski stands between the posts. Pablo Fornals plays with Andri Yarmolenko out wide. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. It's going to be United's free kick. Well, the referee decides not to reach for his pocket at this early. He must finish! And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Well, the action underway once again. And the onus is on West Ham to find a response now. Is this the moment? No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? Antonio. An important interception. Martial. And can they create something? And it's gone in! The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, a second goal for them here. They've won back possession. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Firing it in. And a really good diving stop. Taken short. And given away. This might be ideal for the counter. Antonio. Here's Manuel Lanzini. Possession lost by the Hammers. Well, United have certainly controlled the ball, as you can see. And that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Wasted possession again. Ben Rama. Struggling to keep the ball. Good use of advantage in United's favour. Neat interception by Pogba. Juan Bisaka. Well, options at the back post here. And still dangerous. And a time for composure on the ball. More than decent this from United. And back with Bruno Fernandes. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. He went in so dangerously with that tackle. Now the referee is the man everyone's looking at. And the early shower. This is going to be a real test of their mettle. Well, it's a straight red, and rightly so. But how will they replace him? They've got to reorganise now. A oh, terrific pass. Martial. Martial. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And the ball is moving again. No sugarcoating it. There was a huge gulf between the sides in the first half. Will we see a response from West Ham in the second? Spot on with that tackle. A really 
Really sumptuous ball. Well, it was close, but offside nonetheless. Well, it's a matter of inches there, but he just went a fraction too early. And successfully cut out. Suchek. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Bruno Fernandes given away by Manchester United. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. And he's through. Really good goalkeeping. Now we're into the final half hour. Martial. Shaw. Well, the cross that time completely overcooked. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Getting in there to intercept. Martial. For Niles. Really good interception. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Well, they might be onto something. And the keeper's in trouble. Oh, football finesse at its very best. You can't argue with that finish. So, back underway. Can West Ham find another one? Intercepting it intelligently. Well, not great defending. Fred. Martial! Able to close down the shot. And it's in for Manchester United. They are on a victory course. That's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. There's a slide draw pass. Corner awarded to Manchester United. Taken short. Well, he's been forced out of play this time. He's given it away. Martial in position. Well, given the position he found himself in, he really should be testing the keeper. Superb opportunity squandered. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. victory if there were any lingering doubts well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things 4-1 Bruno Fernandes can they convert oh a superb save and there it is the final whistle a result to
When you want to get off the darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too Hello, great to be with you. We're here in Stratford at the London Stadium, a ground built originally for the Olympics in 2012. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's West Ham United up against Arsenal. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Not a good pass. He might be able to profit from the wide position. And options in the centre. Is this the moment? He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, the action underway once again. And the onus is on West Ham to find a response now. Error by the keeper.
potential danger here. Shown inside. And the keeper more than equal to it. Well, the keeper deserves a lot of credit. That was a fine save, wasn't it? Said Ben Rama. An encouraging Arsenal move. Granit Xhaka. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. And a timely intervention. Lanzini. On the ball, Mikael Antonio. Textbook closing down. And now they're on the attack. And offside it had to be. Crystal clear. Obama Yang. And return to Obama Yang. And that will be a corner. And it still could be dangerous. Something to worry about here. Granite Jacker. Rice with it. Effective work from Arsenal to regain possession. Thomas Partey. Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. Granit Xhaka. Partey. On to Pepe. So nearly at half-time, and the home side trailing, albeit not by much. Stuart, your thoughts up to this point? Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attack in third. Aubameyang! Well, really fine goalkeeping, good diving stop. Delivering it, and the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save, and then the recovery. So a throw in here. Lanzini. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So the second half underway, with the hammers behind. Can they turn this game around? On and on he goes. Could play it in. Arsenal have given it away. Obama Yang. West Ham recovering possession. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put him in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. They've given it away. And West Ham have possession again. Great challenge, he got nothing but ball.
It is a decent looking attack here. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Said Ben Rama. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw in. Declan Rice. Lanzini. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. And it's in! All square again! What a match this is turning out to be! So back on the way. One goal apiece here. It needs an accurate cross. Rice. Oh, big opportunity! Well, snuffing out the danger, but a corner coming up. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. I'm a bit short with the clearance. Lanzini. Antonio. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Neat passing, confidence on the ball. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Well, these West Ham fans are driving their team forward here. Just listen to this noise. They can sense a winner coming here. Lanzini. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Breaking at pace. And Arsenal unable to retain possession. Five minutes of the 90 still to go and the teams cannot be separated and forward go Arsenal do they have a late winning goal in their future well the fans are making so much noise here they believe the winner's coming but it needs a moment of inspiration for one of those players out on the pitch what a finale we've got Suchek Rice Antonio teammates available body in the way and there's the referee's whistle these two sides cannot be separated
You can certainly feel the excitement tonight here at the Theatre of Dreams, Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Manchester United versus Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. He's played us over to the near post. Ah, goalkeeper's ball. Not the best of crosses, really, was it? And here's the lineup for Manchester United. Dean Henderson starts between the posts. Victor Lindelof plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Paul Pogba plays with Fred in central midfield. And up front today, it, well, flinging himself at the ball. Corner kick played in. What an important piece of defending. And he clears the danger. Well, if there's one man who can be a match winner, then surely it's Jadon Sancho. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Well, Derek, is the perfect... Oh, the chance is on, Stuart. And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the up 
opening statement. Arsenal restart the game then, and they have work to do as they try to wipe out that last goal. Good tackle. And they're moving the ball neatly enough, just looking for that decisive pass. Effective pressure to regain possession. Thomas. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Long way out this. Well, it could have been a better effort, and I think we were all expecting it would be. Rashford. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Thomas Partey. Wonderfully weighted pass. Just couldn't capitalise there. He's in behind. And the keeper has denied him. Well, I've got to say, Derek, he was always in control of that situation. Brilliant stuff. He's showing a real will to win the ball. Party. Useful looking ball. Oh, just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him. Well, as you can see, United just haven't been able to dictate the pace of the game. But their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an Oh, big chance here. In it goes. He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. So 2-0 now. And the emphasis is on creativity. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Gonna get a try. Denied by the bar. Back in play here. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Arsenal have it back. Jaden Sancho. They've given it away. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Beautifully weighted ball. Bruno Fernandes. And United have the corner. Let's see about the delivery. And good pressure high up the pitch. And that will do it. So the second half underway, and it's going to take a colossal effort from Arsenal if they are to turn this around. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. And breaking at pace with Menace. All in all, a broken counter-attack. Pepe. Now this could really lift spirits. That really would have changed the equation had it gone in, Stuart. Well, he needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. Fred. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Anthony Martial. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Martial pulls it back and cleared away. A delicious piece of skill. Perfect challenge.
Well, we're into the final half hour. It got away from Xhaka. Bruno Fernandes. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Martinelli. Well, not the best clearance. Martial. Here is Fred. Oh, that's a well-timed pass. Could it be? Fine finish from Anthony Martial. On they go again, and United beginning to run away with this. Anthony Martial. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Not there to intercept. It's going to be United's free kick. Martial. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Opportunity it is. And a poor attempt at a challenge. And all. There it is! A fantastic goal! And no wonder he's off celebrating! So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Encouraging stuff from United, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Just 10 minutes to go. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. And he did well to cut it out. Corner given to United. Elects to go short. Now Paul Pogba. Body in the way. Pogba. Can he take the chance? Well, they've solved the problem for now, but let's see. Martial! In it goes to rubber stamp it once and for all. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Great challenge, he got nothing but ball. And the free kick awarded to Manchester United. And at the far post, it's Marcus Rashford. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Good tackle, it'll be a throw. Went in strongly, decisively. Oh, in with a chance! And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick! The final whistle, and the Gunners go down. They've lost this game.
battles will win the game. A game that should be full of entertaining moments. And it's West Ham United who begin. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Dean Henderson begins in goal. Victor Lindelof plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Paul Pogba plays with Fred in central midfield. And the lead striker today is Anthony Martial. And scope for them to produce something exciting. But they took care of the situation defensively. Delightful pass. Ben Rama. Cresswell with it. Ogbonna. Side Ben Rama. Lanzini. Pablo Fornals. He made it look simple, really. Shaw. Shaw. Rashford. And now Shaw. Now it still could be dangerous. And in the end, no damage done. Antonio. Working really well as a team to regain possession. Oh, skipping away. Really vital interception here. The cross is on. Useful looking ball. Antonio. Superb stop. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? Antonio! Determined defending. Plenty of options. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. He's in with a chance. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. Bruno Fernandes. Here's Martial now. Jadon Sancho. Cross towards that far post. And a struggle to get it away properly. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. And they'll be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Martial. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Taken short. Sancho. Well, that's wonderful attacking play. Great pressure to win the ball back. Takes it on. Well, just narrowly over the crossbar. Good hit, though. They're really pressing their opponents. Suchek went in strongly, decisively using all his defensive acumen to cut it out well, he's lost it potentially freedom for United on the flank can they forge ahead? they do and you've got to say the good value for the lead and the ball moving again advantage United but plenty of time for a few twists and turns here and a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened Vladimir Kufal Now, what can they do from here? Declan Rice. Oh, big opportunity! Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. 
And a more than decent first half showing from Anthony Martial. Sum it up for us. Well, Derek, after a slow start where he was tightly marked, he got better and better as the first half went on, and he got his reward with that goal. I'm looking forward to his second half display. Rice read it magnificently and intercepted. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Martial. Sancho! And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. Well, a second goal for them here. Well, racing past his man. Suchek. No, high quality defending. Well, United have certainly controlled the ball, as you can see. And as a result, have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch. And I don't think anything's going to change that. Well, a good tackle. Happy to take on the shot. And still danger here. Well, they can keep possession now. Said Benrama. A really sumptuous ball. A chance to whip it in. Antonio. Well, they couldn't hang on to it, West Ham. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes! Another goal! And surely there's no way they can throw this! Absolutely dominant. So the action underway once more, and it's beginning to look as though it's a case of how many for United. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. And a tidy challenge. Bruno Fernandes. Is it going to be? And now it is there for him. And the keeper nowhere to be found, not that he's complaining. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Ten minutes to go. Bruno Fernandes. Fred. Will it be? Smart stop, though. And well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Defenders need to cover. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. No two ways about it. A wild, wild attempt. Well, it's so hard to get this right, and he just couldn't adjust his body quickly enough. Shaw. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Lanzini. And that is the end of the game. It goes down...
Hello, great to be with you. We're here in Stratford at the London Stadium, a ground built originally for the Olympics in 2012. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's West Ham United versus Arsenal. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Won it back. Going forward well, Obama Yang. Not a good pass. Partey. Granit Xhaka. White. Keeping it moving dynamically. Jacker with it. Outfoxing the defender. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Lanzini. On the ball, Mikael Antonio. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Delivering it into the box. Now the attack fizzled out. And possession lost, intercepted. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Suchek. Promising-looking attack from West Ham. Lanzini, Antonio, and the keeper getting across to stop it. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Can he deliver it with accuracy? And he clears the danger. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Obama Yang. And he read it well. Is this the moment? Oh, a tremendous block. And Arsenal have won the corner as they try to take the lead. And this might not be the ideal situation for them. Thomas Partey. Pepe. Strong but fair tackle. Granit Xhaka giving it a try and the keeper taking it cleanly well those stats aren't great reading are they neither side is playing with any fluency so far and as a result we've seen a pretty dull game it has to get better Suchek Lanzini and West Ham in a position of menace and there So the game restarted by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. And the second half underway, West Ham with the lead. But I'll tell you what, it's a long way from being settled. Lanzini. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. For Niles. Declan Rice. A 
A glorious chance. It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident and not giving the opposition much of a look in. So 2-0 now. Paul Niles. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Obama Young. On to Pepe. Marcinelli. Good looking cross. Not really the ideal clearance. Well, a bit of a disappointing finish. Intense pressure. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Antonio. And doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today. A constant threat to this back line. And a struggle to get it away properly. And in the end, no damage done. Well, couldn't keep it. Pepe. And space for the cross. Xhaka. And here's Partey. Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. And over comes the corner. Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. Corner awarded. And clears the danger. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Won it back. Obama Yang. Obama Yang! And still danger here. Well, they can keep possession now. Well, shortly we'll hear the final whistle. The home side with the lead. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, for much of this match, they've controlled the tempo of the game and deserved their lead. But this is going to be a frantic finale. They just need to defend their box really well here. Attending to his defensive chores. Lanzini. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left, and just one goal between the sides. That's an effective cross aimed at the back post. Oh, but claimed by the goalkeeper. Well, foul play, says the referee. Good pressure to regain possession. Time and the scoreline against Arsenal. But still, they're in this. And taking it away. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Good vision. Can he get onto this? He's just got to continue his run. So the referee's whistle means full time. And it...
And here we are at one of the great venues for football anywhere in the world, Old Trafford in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Manchester United versus Arsenal. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Possibility for Aubameyang. That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. This is the team Manchester United will go with. Dean Henderson begins in goal. Victor Lindelof plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Jadon Sancho starts with Marcus Rashford in the wide positions. And the lead striker today is Anthony Martial. And he read it well defensively. I'm sure, Stuart, the video analysis will have identified Marcus Rashford as one of the main threats they've got to deal with. Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes round the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. And this is the Arsenal starting eleven. Bernd Leno is the goalkeeper. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the... And foiled only by the crossbar. Applying vigorous pressure. Well, they're certainly getting closer. You just sense that the goal is coming. They're playing so well at the moment. Jadon Sancho. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. Obama Yang. Well, he's given us away. It's a neat move. Onto Aubameyang. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Well, you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point. Because they're really looking dangerous at the moment. Bruno Fernandes there could be consequences given that the yellow card was handed out to him earlier well the referee has made it clear another challenge like that and he'll be off it'll be a second yellow card well he's got away with that one if I was the coach chance to take the lead he needed to get there and did but still the possibility it's got to be well there's a keeper on song well how did he stop that that's just unbelievable well this is a big moment and don't these fans know it Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Thomas. Jacker with it. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. And he could cash in. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. So back in action. And it's up to United now to be inventive. Playing advantage here. United keep it. And do they mean business on this occasion? Oh, he's given us away inexplicably. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Really getting stuck in. And that will do it. Back underway then, and work to do for United, given the scoreline.
Nicolas Pepe. Defensive efficiency personified. He would be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Well, catching the eye in the first half, certainly, Nicola Pepe. What did you make of what you saw from him? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a... Con Will he finish? He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, a second goal for them here. United. And offside, I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. Martial. Bruno Fernandes. Losing possession. Well, the stats don't lie. Arsenal had most of the possession. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. And a strong tackle. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Oh, surely! Another goal! And surely there's no way they can throw this away! Absolutely dominant! Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Wonderfully weighted pass. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. And with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. Rob them. 20 minutes to go. Well, he clearly wants to complete his hat-trick, Stuart. Well, he's been fantastic up to now. You'd think it's going to come if he gets another opportunity. Anthony Martial. A very good tackle. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Thomas Partey. On to Pepe. It might be. Well, flinging himself at the ball. Corner kick played in. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. And the free kick awarded to Manchester United. Ten minutes to go. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, it's a save and a half from Bert Leno. And now the delivery. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Thomas Partey. Possession one. Rashford. Bruno Fernandes. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Rashford. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum. Will he find the net? Chance maybe. In it goes! At the second time of asking. And the keeper feels hung out to dry. And the referee blows for full time, the big hit.
This is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. Could be dangerous. Anesh Chadmak. Plenty of options. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Adam Hrozek. And can they prize them open now? An alert piece of defending. Jean-David Boguel. Anesh Chermak and given away it might be on for them well, the attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out Sacek Dutchkal could be troublesome well it could be on for him here well, not on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Alesh Chermak. Jean-David Boguel. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Well, a foul after the previous one, and the free kick ensues. Quite the tantalising free kick he was hoping for. Goalkeeper's ball. Adam Hrozek. And he takes it away. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. 
Will it be sufficiently imaginative? And nicely parried away. Won it back. Sacek. Krejci. Disappointing pass. Well, the attack looks promising. Laid into the centre. Just over the crossbar. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Can he put them in front? Really sound defending. In it goes! The goal for 1 0, and that changes the dynamic. And back underway. 1 0 it is. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Well, they took care of the situation defensively. in the center and an astute piece of defending and one minute of stoppage time has been added on and there it is the half-time whistle Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Pavelka. And players waiting in the centre. Well, they get themselves level here. Couldn't grab hold of it. Danger averted for now. Well, they're creating chances. They now just need to take one of them. Mind you, what a save that was. Good visualisation and execution. Well, he's been the standout for his side. Well, flinging himself at it. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And a bit short with the clearance. It might be on for them. Milan Havel for attacking possibilities mastery of the passing game Anes Chermak decent position working away patiently looking for an opening dangerous looking attack now a decent position Determined block, corner kick awarded, and let's see if this will help them add to the lead. Well, the marking was tight, the header off targets in the end. Adam Hrozek. Pull from the keeper, and they'll come again. He'll take this on. Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Adam Hrozek.
on the cusp of the final whistle and they're making home advantage count but only just Stuart your thoughts yeah just about edging it overall it's been a really tight game hasn't it chances at a premium and you have to praise their defending in that regard just got to see out the final few minutes now no silly mistakes at the back in behind for him to chase and now can he keep calm oh tremendous goal technical excellence to finish that one off wonderful to have that in your repertoire back underway level pegging one goal apiece in this game Milan Havel Jean-David Boguel and they still have designs on the win moving the ball effectively looking for the right moment five minutes left is it going to end up being productive for them? Goalkeeper should take charge. No mistake by the keeper. Well, just listen to this noise. How could you not be inspired by that? Milan Havel. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Calva. And in with a real chance. Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy.